Hello everybody, in today's video I will be talking all about the health benefits of tiger nuts and then I will show you how you can make tiger nut milk. Coming right up. My name is Yaje and on the Yaje Media YouTube channel, I share tips and tools, strategies, stuff along those lines to help you shape a healthier and a fitter version of yourself so you can live better and so you can live longer. So please consider subscribing. Thank you very much. And for you, my tribe, I welcome you back as always. I'm grateful to everybody. For the support and for choosing to spend some of your time with me today today is all about tiger nuts have you ever heard about tiger nuts let me know in the comments if you know what tiger nuts are um, and how they call it from wherever you are from some people call it house granite right that's the other name for it I think the Wimboom people have a name for it. I mean, I pride myself in being able to speak Limboom, but I tell you, say, I don't know how they call it for country talk. So if you only know it in your country talk, also let me know. So, in English, it's called Tiger Nut, and even though it's called Nut, it's actually not a nut. It's a tuber. Like, they dig it from the ground. It's a tuber. And it has, it's very chewy and it has kind of a coconutty, like it tastes like mbanga or coconut, something along, along those lines. And it's extremely nutritious. It's very, very nutritious. Um, I was introduced to Tiger Nut, shall I say 2017? I went to Cameroon and a dear petitioner, a dear sister of mine, offered me some Tiger Nuts. Actually, she sent it through somebody. She was like, Coach, I know you are down, down my arm one day, but I don't like her me. So I was saying something, we'll get that tiger nuts. And so she sent me these things that looked like stones. And I was like, what is this? So I put one in my mouth and I didn't make much of it. It stayed in my pantry. And then one day I tasted it and then I decided to do a little bit of a research. I think I asked the question on Facebook, my favorite place to go ask a question when I don't know. So, people knew what it was, they gave me a name for it, and off I went doing my research. So I was like, what? All of this and nobody's talking about it? And that's how I got hooked on Tiger Nut. Long story short, um, now I have a supply. <laughs> I've been trying to get Tiger Nut from Cameroon for a long time now, and my husband went recently. Thank you, husband, for bringing me what he called stones. She's like, Petra, Petra, you send me just stones and we'll do it with her. And I'm like, you don't know, that's the best thing you did. Thank you for bringing me my tiger nut. So now I can play. I can play. All right, so I've been eating this. Enough of the chit chat. I'm here to tell you about the health benefits of tiger nuts and also show you um, how to make tiger nut milk. So here's the dried tiger nuts. Really, it looks like stones. What you want to do is soak this. So I have some that is just here, soaked. This has been soaking for like two days now, for the eight hours or so. Soak it for a very long time so that um, it becomes semi-fresh again. So be aware that this comes from the ground. I mean, it comes from the ground, so it's gonna have soil, it's gonna have stones and rocks and stuff like that so wash 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 it and wash it and wash it i washed it so many times and then i soak it and it's just ready to chew on so as you can see when you soak it it really does become like this i don't know if you can see this but this is the soaked tiger knot it swells up of course it absorbs water At this point, you can just snap on it or you can transform it to be told. 
I've been eating this almost every day. Actually, every day. Every day. I've been eating the tiger nuts every day. 28 grams or one ounce of the tiger nut runs about 120 calories compared to the other nuts so it's pretty lower in calories and it's very high in fiber so the uh, one ounce 28 gram servings gives you about seven grams of fiber so that's pretty high in fiber and you all know the importance of fiber right fiber helps move stuff move stuff along the gut so it's good for digestion right fiber is good for digestion Fiber is good for heart health because it helps lower cholesterol. Um, it also has something known as resistant starch, which if you've, you know, the big deal now is all about your gut health, the microbiome. And resistant starch helps to feed this bacteria in your gut, which is your microbiome. And it's very good for you. I mean, gut health is everything these days you should check that out if you're not yet familiar actually i should do a video about the importance of gut health that these resistant starches are known to fit the little critters in your gut and that's very good for you another benefit of tiger nut that hey we're all grown-ups here right so in some cultures they say it's an aphrodisiac you know what that is right <laughs> aphrodisiac um that means it helps with sexual health, erectile dysfunction, um, it helps boost libido and stuff like that. That's what they say in different cultures. Now, has science proven that? I don't think so. But you try it and you see for yourself if it helps, if it helps with libido, if it helps with the erectile dysfunction and stuff like that. Or not, I don't know. That's what they say. Anyway. I like the taste and so I eat it. The fiber is good enough for me. Alright, so what are we doing here? We're making tiger nut milk. Like I said, soak your tiger nuts. So we have our soaked tiger nuts. Um, I only make enough to because I'm the only one drinking that kind of milk, right? You know, you want to make this all these alternative milks that are like non-dairy if you're sensitive to dairy and if you could not care less about all the hormones that they put in the feet the cows that we have over here with and they all end up in milk and you drink that and end, ends up in your own body if you want nothing to do with that then maybe you want to do all of these nut milks anyway so i just make enough to last me you know for one or two servings and then if i need more i blend more not a problem so you need your tiger nuts soaked and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Here I have pink salt to it, and then vanilla for flavoring. That's all I add to mine. Some people add, if you want a little bit of sweetness, Petra also sent me date palms. I'm not sure what to do with those yet, so please let me know how you use date palms, but I have heard that you can also add that to your tiger nut milk for some natural sweetness. So, that's that and then you need your blender so yes the ratio and water of course so I use like half a cup of my soaked tiger nut milk to three so it's like a one is to three water so if it's half a cup of the tiger nut milk then I add three of the same thing so one and a half cups of water I blend and then this is my nut bag nut milk bag I bought this from Amazon if you don't have one, you can use a cheesecloth, you can use a clean pillowcase, you can use a fine chekere, whatever that you have. The idea is to be able to separate the, um, the liquid out of the, the thing that I blend. So let's go and blend the tiger nuts over here. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. I really, truly appreciate Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, please. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider clicking on that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell. I appreciate your support a lot. And if you will, 
Can you share the video with somebody? Thank you so much. God bless you. So here's our blended tiger nut. So I will put that through my strainer. Petra, thank you so much for my tiger nut. I really, really do appreciate this. You can find the tiger nut in most African stores. They have it and they sell an ounce. The one ounce I was telling you about for about $1.99 or $2.99. Something like that. So. Perfect. And these are the chops. I'm not going to throw this away. This leftover, this is all fiber. What I will do is um, dehydrate. I will dry this and then I will use it just like you use almond flour, right? To make like pancakes or whatever else that people use almond flour, or coconut flour for. So I'm gonna dry this up and use it like coconut flour or almond flour. Okay, nothing goes to waste. All right. So here is my tiger nut milk. I'm gonna put this in a container, and like I said, I will add salt, maybe about a quarter teaspoon of salt, just a little bit of salt for flavoring. Just a little bit, pinch of salt. That's good enough. And then I will drop in some vanilla extract as well. This keeps in the fridge for about five days, but like I said, I don't make that much. Just a little bit of vanilla for flavoring. All of this is optional. You don't don't say I can't do it because I don't have I don't have vanilla milk and don't get other Latin for that country. Excuse this. All you need is the milk. You don't need any of this. This is just additional fancy stuff. At this point, you can just um, you can add turmeric to it and some cloves and make the golden milk. Have you heard about golden milk yet? So you can add turmeric to this, heat it up and enjoy. Make a nice warm golden milk drink. Turmeric and some cloves or cinnamon, right? Or you can use it to make your oatmeal and or make chia pudding, which is how I'm going to use this, okay? So, that is my milk. This is going to be my breakfast for tomorrow. Here I have chia seeds. You know about these suckers, right? They are very, very healthy. Chia seeds, um, they are high in protein and high in omega-3 fatty acids and very high in fiber. Actually, one quarter cup, one quarter cup of this is 180 calories with 14 grams of fiber. 14 grams of fiber in one serving. That's crazy. With six grams of protein, and it has a healthy dose of omega-3 fatty acids. And we all know the role of omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. So I'm making, um, you know, you, this absorbs like how many times it's weight in water. It's only like a ridiculous amount. So it swells up and it gels up and it forms this yummy pudding. I'm going to put a quarter cup in my tiger nut. Actually, I'm just going to do two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, not a quarter cup. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of the chia seeds to to my nut milk here okay I'm also going to add a little bit of oatmeal just a little so this will be our overnight oats. It's just two tablespoons of oatmeal that I'm adding. You can just add oatmeal by itself. 
I let this sit overnight and in the morning breakfast is ready so that's it guys this is your healthy 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 breakfast loaded with fiber loaded with all that good stuff from the tiger nut milk I hope you try this you let me know if you do try this do not leave without giving this video a thumbs up Please subscribe if you have not already done so and share the video. I appreciate your support a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so remember that we are shaped by what we eat. What we eat controls everything. Okay, it controls everything. It does matter a lot. Okay, and it doesn't need to be exotic. It doesn't need to be expensive. Look around for your local things and figure out ways to incorporate these things into your diet such as tiger milk but thank you so much and i will catch you in my my next video okay bye bye